ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय वेलकम ऑल टू टूडेज रीडिंग फ्रॉम श्री चैतन्य चरितामृत वी बीन रीडिंग फ्रॉम द आदि लीला एंड वी आर ऑन चैप्टर इलेवन वर्स फिफ्टी वन एट द मोमेंट मुखम करो दिवा जलम पंगुम लंगा दे गिरिम यत कृपातम हम वंदे श्री गुरु दीन तारिणम परमानंद माधवम श्री चैतन्य ईश्वरम हरि ओम तत्सत वर्ष फिफ्टी वन कमसारी सेना रामसेना रामचंद्र कविराज गोविंद श्रीरंग मुकुंद तीना कविराज Translation: The 58th great devotee of Lord Nityananda Prabhu was Kamsari Sena. The 59th was Ram Sen. The 60th was Ram Chandra Kaviraj, and the 61st, 62nd, and 63rd were Govinda, Sri Ranga, and Mukunda, who were all physicians. Perfect, perfect by his gra- his divine grace, Sri La Prabhupada, Sri Babad ki jai. Sri Ram Chandra Kaviraj, the son of Khandavasi Chiranjeev and Sunanda, was a disciple of Sri Nivas Acharya. and the most intimate friend of narottam das thakur who prayed several times for his association his youngest brother was govind kaviraj shila jeev goswami was very much very much appreciated shri ramchandra kaviraj's great devotion to lord krishna and therefore gave him the title kaviraj shri ramchandra kaviraj who was perpetually disinterested in family life greatly assisted in the preaching work of shrinivas acharya and narottam das thakur He resided at first in Sri Khanda, but later in the village of Kumar Nagar on the bank of the Ganges. Govind Kaviraj was the brother of Ramchandra Kaviraj and youngest son of Chiranjeev of Sri Khanda. Although at first a shakta or worshipper of Goddess Durga, he was later initiated by Sri Nivas Acharya Prabhu. Govind Kaviraj also resided first in Sri Khanda and then in Kumar Nagar. but later he moved to the village known as telia budhari on the southern bank of river padma since govind kaviraj the author of two books sangeet madhav and geetamrit was a great passion of kavi or poet shilajeev goswami gave him the title kaviraj he is described in the bhakti ratnakar ninth wave kamsari sen was formerly ratnavali in raja as described in the gora ganadesh deepika माधवाचार्य दास दामोदर शंकर मुकुंद ज्ञान दास मनोहर translation among the devotees of lord nityananda prabhu pitambar was the 64th madhavacharya the 65th damodar das the 66th Shankar the sixty seventh, Mukund the sixty eighth, Gyanadas the sixty ninth, and Manohar the seventieth. Verse number fifty three. Nartak Gopal Ram Bhadra Goranga Das Nrsimha Chaitanya Meena Ketana Ram Das. The dance of Gopal was of seventy first, Ram Bhadra the seventy second, Goranga Das the seventy third, Nrsimha Chaitanya the seventy fourth. And Meena Ketan Ramadas the seventy fifth, Purport the Gora the Ganudesha Deepika sixty eight describes Meena Ketan Ramadas as an incarnation of Sankarshan. Verse number fifty four, Vrindavan Das Narayan Meera Nandana Chaitanya Mangal Yenho Karila Rachna. Vrindavan Das Thakur the son of Shri Mati Narayani composed Shri Chaitanya Mangal later known as Shri Chaitanya Bhagwat. So Chaitanya Bhagwat previously was known as Chaitanya Mangal. Verse fifty five, Bhagwat e Krishna Lila var Nila ve the Vyas Chaitanya Lila te Vyas Vrindavan Das. Shri La Vyas Dev described the pastimes of Krishna in Shri Mad Bhagwatam. The Vyas of the pastimes of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was Vrindavan Das. Purport Shri La Vrindavan Das Thakur was an incarnation of Ved Vyas and also a friendly coward boy named. Kusuma Pida in Krishna Lila. In the other words, the author of Shri Chaitanya Bhagwat, Shri Lavinda Vandas Thakur, the son of Shivas Thakur, niece 
Thakur's niece Narayani was a combined incarnation of Vedvyas and the cowherd boy Kusuma Pira. There is a descriptive, descriptive statement by Srila Bhakti Siddhant Saraswati Thakur in his commentary on Sri Chaitanya Bhagavat giving the biographical details of the life of Vrindavan Das Thakur. Verse 56 Sarva Shakha Shreshta Veera Bhadra Goshani Tandra Upashakha Yata Tara Antanai Among all the branches of Srinitanda Prabhu, Veera Bhadra Goshani was the topmost. His sub-branches were unlimited. Verse 57 Ananta Nityananda Gana Ke Karu Ganana Atma Pavitrata Hetu Likhilan Katachana Translation, no one can count the unlimited followers of Nityananda Prabhu. I have mentioned some of them just for my self-purification. Verse number 58. A sarva shakha purna pakva prema phale yare dekhe tare diya bhasaila sakale. Bhaisala Paisaila means overflooded. Sakale is all of them. Translation All these branches, the devotees of Lord Nityananda Prabhu, being full of ripened fruit of love of Krishna, distributed these fruits to all they met, flooding them with love of Krishna. Verse number 59 Anargala prema sabara cheshta anargala prema dite krishna dite dhare mahabala. All these devotees had unlimited strength to deliver unobstructed, unceasing love of Krishna. By their own strength, they could offer anyone Krishna and love of Krishna. Purpur Srila Bhakti Vinod Thakur has sung Krishna se tomara Krishna dite par tomara shakti ache. In this song, Bhakti Vinod Thakur describes that a pure Vaishnava as a proprietor of Krishna and love of Krishna can deliver both to anyone and everyone he likes. Therefore, to get Krishna and love of Krishna, one must seek the mercy of pure devotees. Srila Vishwanath Chakravarti Thakur also says, Yasya prasada bhagavat prasado yasya prasadam nagati kutopi. By the mercy of spiritual master, one is blessed by the mercy of Krishna. Without the grace of the spiritual master, one cannot make any advancement. By the grace of a Vaishnava or bona fide spiritual master, one can get both love of Godhead, Krishna and Krishna himself. Verse number 60. Sankshepe kahilan e nityananda gana yanahara avadhi pai sahasra vadan. Sankshepe is just like in Hindi we say sankshep, which is in brief. And... Uh, Avadi means limitation in Bengali. Translation, I have briefly described only some of the followers and dis devotees of Lord Nityananda Prabhu. Even the thousand mouths, Sheshna cannot describe all of these unlimited devotees. Verse number 61. Shri Rupa Raghunath Pade Yara Asha Chaitanya Charita Amrit Kahe Krishna Dasa With an ardent desire to serve the purpose of Sri Rupa and Sri Raghunath, I, Krishna Das, narrate Sri Chaitanya Charita Amrit following in their footsteps. Purpur thus sent the Bhaktivedanta purpose to Sri Chaitanya Charita Amrit Adi Lila, 11th chapter, in the matter of the expansions of Lord Nityananda. So, chapter 12 is all about the expansions of Advaita Acharya and Gadadhar Pandit. And uh, we'll make a start next time on chapter 12. So thank you so much for joining in in today's brief reading. We have concluded the chapter 11 about the expansions of Lord Nityananda. Thank you for joining. Hariyam Tatsat. Hare Krishna.